In Radius, you can now have saved rows for your templates. So you'll go to Templates here on the left-hand side column, and then you'll go into a, let's say, the blank signature line. So we have a blank signature with CMS disclaimer that we've added into the system for you. And see here how I've got agent profile image and then some agent details over here. I can save this whole row. So if I'm in the content element itself, it won't just save. So I need to go to the row where it's highlighting both the profile image and the agent name. And then I've got this little, what looks like a little floppy disk. You click on that. You're going to name it. So this will be agent signature and photo. Save it to my saved rows and save. And now this next row here, I can save that as well. So this row is going to be social and appointment. And then I'm going to update my company's name, best insurance ever. I'll re-update that. Now I've got to enter in my company's physical address. The reason for this is that the Spam Can Act requires that you have a physical address in the mass emails that you send out and any automated emails for marketing. And then we've got the CMS disclaimer in this one for you as well. So if you want to keep that, then do so. So again, click on the row, click the little floppy disk. I think that's what they were called. And you're going to name this CMS Disclaimer and Address and Save. So now we have our rows saved. You can do this in any template. So as you're creating them, you can add in more saved rows. But now we're going to add another template. So let's say this one is going to be for, I don't know, um, um, a seminar invitation. And it's going to be your invited seminar on Wednesday, July 3rd. We need to add in agent name, agent email. We can make this template available to other users if you'd like to. And now, I'm going to add in a paragraph of my details. So hello, first name. I am pleased to invite you to a seminar on da 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 da. We'll add in whatever content there. But now if I go to rows, instead of empty, I'm going to go to my saved rows. And now I can start dragging over that content image below. So I'm just going to drag and drop. And I don't have to rebuild that whole thing again. Go to settings, clean this up a little bit, make this nicer. You can left center or center it. And edit anything that you would like to edit. You can keep on adding into this. Save that template. It also works for editing previous templates, so let's edit this Happy Fourth of July template. We go to my rows, my saved rows, add in that information. Maybe I don't want my social media on this one, but I still need my CMS disclaimer and my address. Or maybe I don't want the CMS disclaimer on this because I'm just saying Happy Independence Day. So you can trash that. If I scroll down, you'll be able to see that I've got a little trash can icon now. So I can trash that and just leave in that um, physical address in there. If you wanted to customize that font color, you can click there. And so on. So nice and easy to, way to use your saved rows. Let us know what you think of this feature.
Go to the Help app and either reply right to the notification about the feature and send, or just ask another question and give us feedback there. Thanks.